Hey, Capricorn. It's funny, right? Because, sorry, I'll be right closer in a second. Because right when you least expect it, you get a hit. You get a hit of what magic it is to bring people so closely to themselves that this whole time it's just been basically what you haven't been able to hold on to. There's a part of you that's been protecting a false sense of self, perhaps. Maybe in your own ideals or what you've been looking towards. Maybe you thinking that things would, are, things would be getting better. Things are um, good, even though there's nothing you can hold on to. That from all of this, you realize it's actually better to move slow right now, perhaps, because you're changing. There's something about you that doesn't make sense anymore, and you're understanding that, and it makes sense to you now. And even though there's a lot going on, there's still a lot of movement, and like purposeful movement, that you're going to find yourself in towards the end of the month. But first, you have to understand what it is that needs changing. Might be the way you show affection or show love. Maybe the way you show love to someone or people that you care about and how that's changing. This give and take may be changing and it's all because of your emotional security. You're usually a very mature sign, yes, for sure. However, there's a part of yourself that you may have been ignoring or may have not wanted to notice or probably didn't understand was a problem until now. Maybe it just started to become a problem. Maybe you just started to become unaware of why you are standing in front of these swords. Or wands, sorry. Oof. You become lost in the idea. In the fantasy, perhaps. You know how to build something so you know things can move slowly and you know when you're working towards something you know things like can go very well and you know that that's usually the outcome like you're working towards it you're putting in the work you have the momentum yet in the love department seems to it seems things seem to become very clear to you of what no longer works for you or what no what you are no longer like anymore what part of you is changing and how you again give and receive that kind of love. And that also usually is in tandem with work. You're becoming more... You're very confident, but you're becoming even more confident in how you're feeling more than ever. Regardless if it's something you can explain or not, I think you'll be able to this month with all with um Mercury going into Venus, or sorry, Mercury going into Virgo on the 4th. And Venus in Cancer has changed you, has mothered you, is your opposing sign. It has forced you, <laughs> like a mother can do, to change, to see that subconsciously all of these different things were woven into your life and no longer work. There may be someone in your life you can really rely on at this time and trust to understand what you're going through or understand the changes that you're making. And by the end, towards the end of the month, or sorry, towards the end of the season, I should say, it starts to feel exciting that this rebirth is full of passion, full of purpose, full of newfound passion even. And all of the energy will be given to you. It's just up to you to use it wisely. It's up to you to take all of the raw potential and all of the raw energy that you can have and that's at your fingertips to start 
to, and to continue to move, but move with purpose, make decisions on purpose. Not that you don't, but sometimes by default, it's like, okay, this is just the next step, but there's something different happening now. You feel so much secure in yourself that whatever materially you've acquired and what material things you've come to, they might not be adding up anymore. They might not be giving you what you're giving. And that's okay that that's not happening right now. However, do you see that in the future? And that's something that you need to take account right now. You need to allow yourself to make hard turns if you need to take a hard turn because you have the energy for it but remember it's how you decide to use it if it's the same situation that keeps coming up what do you need to learn from because it's just a pattern if not what do you need to learn from where can you utilize this energy what's actually important how does your feminine and your masculine really balance things out and get things going even farther this rebirth this change that almost feels hold on one second that can feel quite sudden has actually been building because Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn right now and cancer rules the stomach and the breasts so you could also be digesting and going through this digesting period, which is why things seem a lot slower, but the rebirth happens quickly towards the end. Pluto makes you aware of all these intricate habits and patterns that have been woven throughout your subconscious. And now that you're aware of what the theme and the thread is, you're beginning to put it into parenting and reparenting it or you're and you're beginning to conjoin it a vulnerable time at the end of the month a vulnerable time full of raw potential a vulnerable time to make any changes you really need to make they can be extremely powerful in months to come Because sure, it seems like cancer just does, does something, but usually it lasts a long time, doesn't it? All the way through Scorpio season, you're going to have a chance to access this as long as you understand where it's needed. And only you can do that. It doesn't mean that things are going to change overnight, but you are. Maybe you meet a cancer or a Scorpio and they become a catalyst. Maybe they inspire you. Maybe just that conversation with two intellectual yet very fun, exciting people show you what you've been missing or what needs to be added. It's a huge growth month for you to see that now that you're capable and you're secure even more in who you are and who you're becoming, how do you want to use this life? What can the sauce of Leo season help you do? The luck. Knowing that the vulnerability is not something to hide from, but something to be open to. It will be your greatest asset this month in terms of any relationships, especially the one with yourself. Something coming in to kick your ass into gear in a personal way, not just what you've attained monetarily, what you will be. Why? What for? I ask you. All right, lovely Capricorn. I love you. See you next month.